Hello, my name's Max Drake. I'd like to talk to you about this app here. Um, this is an app for um, a city housing portfolio. Uh, now, this is based on um, these books. They ended up making these books, and there's 22 books that go through and show pretty much the geometry of every single um, unit and its arrangement inside and the re one of the reasons for this is that people were coming in and doing a work and uh, maybe this is the main bedroom and so they would say yes I went into that thing and I did some work in bedroom one and then and they kind of said well how do you classify bedroom one Oh, the biggest bedroom or something like that. So it wasn't particularly scientific and it caused a bit of confusion as far as pricing for work orders with um, external uh, external contractors who came and did the work. And then there was billing and all sorts of things. So it caused a lot of confusion. So what they ended up doing was saying, well, okay, then we'll make a logic of all rooms. When we walk in the main door, the first room you walk into is called number one. And then you go clockwise through the room. So number two is there, number three is there, number four, number five, number six, number seven. So there's a logical sequence to all of the, the rooms as to how it was. The other thing that this does is that they were then inside the using Revit to model them, we will be able to get the floor areas and the wall areas. So total wall area and the floor area is the same as the ceiling area. So you know your area for carpeting and things like that. I'm surprised we didn't have perimeters so that you can look at your skirting and your scotia in there. It also gives an indication of all your windows and rooms. Um, later on we went through and did other properties and uh, you'd have a room with maybe four or five windows in and we ended up um, marking each individual window so that you were clear on which window had so you had five windows in the room one of them were broken uh, how do you say which one was broken or what you know because sometimes you walk in and it's not clear you know it might have been broken on the outside and it may be a little thing hidden somewhere that somebody coming and doing an inspection is not clear so what you're trying to do is be reasonably specific on what needs to be repaired. So they've actually found that things have been a lot easier now that they've actually got this information. So this information is quite good, but um, uh, it's in 22 books. So what I was looking at doing was actually just creating one app that does the, the heavy lifting for this. So you've got your estate level, and then so here's the plan of the estate, and uh, and then you've got your blocks on here. So you see all the individual blocks. So we drill down to the next level on the block, and then inside that block, um, there is a key plan there that shows the arrangement of those blocks. So you see they're all just side by side in this particular one, and it gives the map. And uh, if you click on here, it then goes through and gives a plan of an individual unit and a map of what it is, and you can add the comments. On this, this is uh, again a proof of concept at this point in time. If I go into this particular one, an extra thing that I've done on here, I'll just go back because there's more on that one there. If I click onto one of these, I can actually download that plan with the uh, uh, wall areas, um, room areas, the doors and the windows and all of that detail. So if I need more information, I can do it. But basically, if I'm going on the side, I've got a map and I can add comments at any level. I can add comments right up at block level. I can add um, comments uh, sorry, I can add comments at site level or on the estate level. I can add comments on block level or I can actually add comments down at individual level. So inside the comment area, I've got a comment and I can see who's written it and what it's about. So maybe something and it's also got a time log as to when it's done and I can email that to myself. Maybe I'll also add an email onto here which would be the email of the person who's managing that particular site so that I can get back to the office and just send that information through to them. So that's just the logic of the app. Um, uh, I, I find that the search engine works brilliantly um, uh, in this one so if I just do bet it filters straight away onto all the bats as they come through and then I say oh, I want block A. So if you know what the code is for the particular property you can drill down and get to it very very quickly. This is one thing I'm doing here is using the comments. Now one thing with the comments that I just want to tag is that um, uh, Glide do a comments tab 
but you can't access it. If you actually look on your views, you'll see in your navigation screen that tab doesn't turn up. So presumably as soon as there's a glide in front of it, it hides it. So what you can do instead is um, uh, what I've done is that I've got a comments one but all I've done is I've just done an array formula to bring all of that data across to this one here. Then also at the moment I'm trying to do a descriptor to make it more comprehensive as well what I'm saying. What I think is brilliant, it comes through at the topic level, so whether it's at the block level, at the site level, or the individual level, and it's got the username and the email of who puts it in. So you can quite easily add another email, a property manager, you can go and do a lookup based on who does these properties and then put their email in so that when you get back or at some point in time you can just fire off that as something that needs to be done. This was another little tickly thing that I thought was quite interesting is that this is text so it's got a timestamp on it but you can't access it so I end up having to do this so I use date then I've actually done left E so I've said go and get me the four first four numbers and then get me the middle two, the, these two numbers, and then get me these two numbers here. By, join them all together and create a date out of them. So that was a bit of a challenge getting that, but I'm quite pleased with that. This one here is just a concatenation, just to say the topic is about this, and it starts off with the comment of that, so that when you look at the comment column uh, and you click on it, you've got a little bit of information about where it's about, and unfortunately this is just waffle but you could actually say fault at the beginning and then straight away you can see that it relates something to there that needs some action um, in the sheets again another thing that i thought was quite interesting at the moment is that i've got 2500 rows in here and it seems to be responding reasonably quickly the other thing that i've got is that i've got parent child and grandchild so i've got the parents which are the the, the sites uh, or the estates. I've then got the blocks on the estates and then I've got the individual units inside the blocks on the estates. So I've got a, a level and that took me a while to sort, of, uh, sort out and it was quite fiddly. So what I ended up doing was I took a subset to work on so it's quicker to, to actually break the app and uh, I made a uh, small app that just manage something like five five uh, estates and that was quickly easier to do so that was another thing but what I also want to tag here is the how to um, I got um, a product hunt or something came up with Ooh. another one called app hive and it was a new app that was coming through now that's gone and uh, and it had no information on the explanation of it. Also, I've looked at a few apps of people that um, have uh, got some, uh, got a good app, but I can't figure out how to use it. So what I'm trying to do is a how-to page, which is basically, I've split this in there to three topics. Navigating the app, how you can go through and navigate, two, the structure of the app, and three, the comments aspect of the thing because that would be irrelevant to these particular people so the first one now this is something that's new to me and i've only just found out about it and i think it's wow inside the image you can do the click to enlarge so that when you click on that it comes through i think that's brilliant i think it's absolutely wonderful so um, this just describes the navigating through the apps either by scrolling on the front page or by using the search on the second pages. It then talks about the structure of the app at the um, estate level, at the block level, at the next level down, which is the, to show you where the blocks are, and then at specific units. And then it talks about how to use the comments all the way through. So it was really a help file within. Um, I've seen a couple that do it, and they're quite nice. Mine's a bit ratty. Um, but it meets my needs and basically Google, Google Docs, Docs macro, macro running. running good on you um, what's that one uh, 
I've actually had to just do row along here and just pull down each particular image that I've needed to go all the way through. And then I've just got individual text boxes just so that inside the app, um, uh, if I go back, um, I've just got a whole load of markdown. That way I can uh, have uh, bold for um, headers and uh, semi-bold for these. They didn't quite work out quite what I wanted, but it's the first time I've done it. And uh, I'm quite pleased with the result of a way to explain um, for people um, who were transitioning from uh, all of the books to actually having an app that they can use when they go onto site. Anyway, I hope this has been of interest to you. Thank you very much for watching. If it's been of interest to you, can you please give it a thumbs up? Thank you very much.